Hi Star Wars fans and welcome to the channel. On today's video it's part two of the K2SO build. Yeah we're going to see me put it together, do some weathering and then we'll just have a look at it at the end. So if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe and enjoy the video. So here we go. Put it all back together, screwed in back together. I didn't, I've, you don't want to see all that, you just want to see what's when it's finished don't you but this is not finished yet so i put it all together he looks like he's actually doing something now doesn't he? he's actually moving i mean i can still move all these arms so i could play about i've got a bit of movement in the top of the body i can move these arms to what i sort of like so kind of walk in pose the head still moves around the neck so you can get some looks but yeah, I've done starter to, to get the old silver pen out, touch it up in places, so we can turn it around a little bit. Touch it, so little bits, and this silver was already here, so I've gone in a little bit more. Little bits, I got carried away. I, <laughs> I screwed it to the base, and I sat here and looked at it and started getting my silver pen out, and I was like, hang on, I should be filming this, so I've stopped. <laughs> But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape these areas up here and then I'm going to dry brush the joints so they've got to have a bit of silver on them here and here, especially the knees. So I'm going to tape there and then sort of dry brush silver onto it. Um, and then I'm going to I'm definitely going to weather these down, take these down a bit, go with a bit of a wash, probably touch it up with some more silver highlights in places. Uh, yeah, do a little bit more to the to the back. But yeah, I'm really happy the way it's come out. It looks so much, when I sprayed the matte black, I was not sure, but yeah, it definitely uh, definitely does the trick. And that was, oh, I'm glad I actually taped up the eyes because they really do go bing now. They really pop the eyes and I taped up the buttons as well. I remember to sort of keep this uh, yellow as well preserved. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in there as well and dry brush in there just and a few other places probably in there as well so right let's get some tape on and uh let's do some dry brushing okay we've got all taped up so now i'm just gonna go in and do some dry brushing here we go so the tapes are here. Yeah, I think that one's had too little, too much silver on it there. So I might just say when I weather it with some wash, I might put a bit, put a wash over that bit, a bit more. I did uh, dry my brush off too much, really. But yeah. Okay, so mask and tape off. I think we'll go in and try do a bit of the ankles now.
glad I fixed it to the stand. <laughs> it's saving me a lot of hassle. This is just I just move it, spin it around now when I want to paint. Let's make it so much easier. I did think about like weathering all the bits sort of individually and then putting it together, but you never know what it's going to look like. So I just thought, yeah, do this, and then I can spin this. So I apologise it's a little bit noisy the thing, but it's got sand on it. <laughs> someone said, "Does it?" Someone said, "Comment is it looks like a big cookie." <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, you join me back. I'm just weathering well, sort of around the actual in between the legs, the joins in the film. They're sort of all mechanical cables and stuff, but they, you know, to hold it on. So, yeah, so I've done in between there and done in between there. That looks so much better. And then when I do the wash over it, it should dull down any of the silver that's too bright. Yeah, right, let's get that tape off. Okay, so we've got the uh, hands, hands. I'm gonna do a bit of dry brushing on the hands. And uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. So let's, uh, let's uh, do a little bit just on the fingers and stuff. Not too much. Because you know, your fingers are gonna be the hams are going to be the like the most used parts, aren't they? Where they do all the they're going to do all the picking up and stuff. So they're going to be more paint wear on the fingers. I'm going to go in and just do these things. So he's going to have a slightly damaged <laughs> wrist because. Uh, I drilled a little bit too much. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, that's looking good. I might just go in and do a little bit while well, I'm here. I might just go in and do a little bit with this paint. Yeah, he's a bit, yeah. I'm just gonna go in and just, just. Just 
highlight some of the panels. So one of the main things I want to do is get in and do round here. So just do a bit down the bottom of the legs. Oh, this is I hate doing these bits because you've got to be so like random. The run more random you are, the uh, the better it looks. Not stay in one place too long. Well, I think I will go in and definitely go in if I can just. So I, yeah, I'll go in and do the. Uh, let's do the feet. Let's give the feet some high. As you say, the feet are another one that takes a lot of the, it's a lot of the abuse in it. Really should bring some out then actually. Yeah, I like that, I'll bring some out. The face now, let's go in here. Oh. hand on here to steady it a little bit. Careful not to do too much. Let me get this one in as well. Yeah. Liking that, liking that. Alrighty, so we're going in with a bit of a wash now, just in certain places. I'm gonna just give it, especially around like around here. Hopefully, I haven't gone too much over the top, but yeah.
Yeah, liking that, liking that. I'm gonna do now just dab off what I don't what I don't like. Let's turn it around. bit more a bit more are there I think I took a little bit off there I shouldn't have uh, yeah right, that's better so I might go in and do a little bit on the knees now so Well, here goes the finished article. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. It's come out quite well. Probably could do with a bit more weathering, but I think I'll just leave it as it is. I don't want to go too much over it. So, uh, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's come out really well, and I'm really pleased. The, the trying to get it to look, stand, and move the arms just just the right amount, just to make get it in the just the right pose. I think I might adjust the head slightly. But I'm happy with that sort of pose. I did think about buying a six, you know, one six scale actual uh, like blaster or something to put in his hand. So like he has in has in the Rogue One, you know, the mini sort of E11 blaster, or I just got myself a Rebel blaster or something. I'm not sure, or uh, or just the um, uh, the Death Trooper thermal grenade. But I think I'll leave it as it is. So I'm happy. Fingers look quite good now, they're sort of bent, a bit of weather and just a nice pose he's walking along. They, you know, K2SO is a sort of weird looking, he's very tall isn't he and gangly so uh, you know, the way he walks is weird and they move up and down and stuff but yeah I'm very happy. I'm glad it sort of, I taped up the cogs now as well and preserved them as much as possible. I probably could go over with a bit of white paint and make them a bit better but I, the weather look, looks good bits of silver highlight up here just a bit of weather and a nice little bit of wash around here the silver wash has gone off a little bit I um, could add another bit more wash but I think that's it's really good I'm happy with what it is for, for a thing that was seven pound something a bit of paint my time and, and yeah it looks it looks nice and presentable now my little biscuit stand <laughs> Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this next build. I mean, I didn't show you me gluing the legs together and reconstruct. You don't want to see that. That, that was the most aggravating bit was gluing those uh, those back together and holding it for so long and just being patient and just hoping when I glued it that it was the right amount, uh, the angle was the right amount. And I think the arms were definitely way better now. But I've seen some other videos of guys who bought these and all they've done is they've just repainted them they've not actually like adjusted the limbs so that, yeah but uh, yeah it, it definitely needs doing and i recommend anyone wants to do something like this it's this is this was quite simple and effective i think and uh, yeah i've got another droid in the collection <laughs> just want to say a big thank you to all my channel members my patreons and all my subscribers leave some great comments please share this video <laughs> the last video is been okay a lot a few people watched it but it's not as many as i'd hoped but i guess that's the boring bit people just want to see the before and after and this is kind of the best bit isn't it really we'll see what you can do with it so yeah please leave some great comments likes and uh i really enjoyed this it's been uh, i've got to come up with the next project now so what's going to be my next one it'll give me a, it'll take me a while to think see something and i go oh yeah i'm gonna do it on that but 
yeah that's gonna be wait and see hey eh? <laughs> okay guys thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video bye